think you hit the nail on the head. Like the damage was done in the first half. Um, we're kind of shell shocked watching it, and shell I look shell shocked on the field. Our lack of physicality, both sides of the ball, can win any collisions. Therefore, you know we struggled to defend them, and obviously we struggled then to get any imprint of our own on the game. So um, then what happens is you go in at half time when you're that scoreboard down, and you come out, and the natural thing is to chase the game a little bit from the halfway line, play a lot of rugby, which I understand when when we need to score tries, but. The reality of the risk of that is then if you get turned over, you're one, fatigued, and two, not in a position to defend when you're playing all that rugby on the halfway line. So the scoreboard from the first half really dominated uh, how the second half was going to play out and the risk and reward obviously went completely against us. You touched upon it there already. You were coughing up a lot of ball and just putting pressure on yourselves, I guess, defensively. Um, Austin mentioned in comms at times looking at, I know, a little bit predictable, maybe an attack. Can you put your finger on why? After such a long break, I'd imagine it's quite hard to get back, um, you know, in the flow of things. But do you know why that was today? Oh, look, I mean, like I said, the, the, the predictable bit in the second half is based on really trying to play into a brick wall and overplaying where you, you, you would go to a slightly different tactic if the scoreboard was different. I understand what the boys are thinking. They're thinking that we're so far down on the scoreboard, we've got to chance our arm. We've got to go and play some rugby and try and break them down. But what Saracens then know is they know they fill the front line and we're probably going to keep playing to try and break them down, which we didn't do, which again is a detail thing we need to look at. But more worrying was then off the back of those sets, you're then in trouble if they turn you over, which is what happened. So, um, yeah, look, there's a huge amount to look at. There's a huge amount to be really disappointed about we, that's not us this season that's that's I would argue that that's a one-off bad performance and therefore we can put that right and uh, we won't hide away from it and this week we'll need to put it right because we're then playing Bath at home next weekend and it's so tight at the top isn't it at the moment um, you know teams from one to eight could finish up in that in that top four so what what needs to be better over these next few weeks now to ensure that you're there well the first thing is you've got to start a game with some physicality um we can't start the game like we started it today. Well, the whole of that first half, it was just a s severe lack of physicality. This is a very simple game. If you don't win collisions either side of the ball, you don't get to slow them down, you don't get to speed your game up. You're up against it all day, and that was that was really what the first half looked like. So we got to, we got to start way better last week. We've got to get back to what we have been doing this season, and that's the key message here is this is a bad day. We'll front the bad day, we'll face the bad day, but I also think we'll put it right as quickly as uh, we've obviously got it wrong today. Appreciate your time, Danny, and lucky today. Thank you.